Hurry, 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 step right up. Get your fair food here. We've got candied apples, popcorn, apple pie, and of course, the all time fan favorite of fair foods, Italian sausage. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Georgia Farm Monitor and to another edition of Meals from the Field. Joining me, as always, my good friend, Marsha well, Crowley. Hi. Good to see you, as always. And I said all time fa favorite fair food, Italian sausage, and I'm not pl putting a plug in for Italians by any stretch of the imagination. But it's true, people love I, Italian sausage. Correct? I Googled it. I was trying to come up. Somebody gave me the idea of doing fair food, and I mm -hmm. didn't want to do turkey legs. Right. And I wasn't going to attempt to funnel cake on TV. Mm -hmm. The number one selling fair food is Italian sausage sandwich with peppers and onions wow. and mozzarella cheese. I was shocked. You can't beat that, though, when you go to a fair. And of course, we are getting into fair season, so uh, Marsha and I decided to cook up some of the favorite recipes today. Like I said, we've got apples, we've got apple pie. We do want to thank all our uh, North Georgia apple markets up there. You can find those. Uh, they are, of course, you know, GFB certified uh, farmer markets. You can find those by logging on to gfb.org. Tell us what we got here, Marshall. Let's, how about we thing, start with the candy right, apples? This is a caramel apple. Caramel apple, okay. Right. Candy, candy, caramel. Um, and I, when I think of fair, this is, I think of a caramel apple. Okay. All right, this is one of the smaller Georgia apples, not a big honking apple. And you put a little uh, craft stick and you find the craft sticks. I didn't know where to find them, but they are in the school supply section of a grocery store. Oh, Go figure. Okay. All right, and this is a, uh, a 14 ounce bag of caramel candy that you mm -hmm. have to unwrap. That takes forever. And a tablespoon of water, and this might be hardened just a little bit. But this is a really good thing to do with the kids. It has hardened just a little bit. But you just put as much on there as you want. If you're trying to cut calories, and who is during fair season, <laughs> you only put it on half of it. Then you put, put it on some waxed paper and let that uh, cool for about 15 minutes and then you can eat it. All right. You have to put them, don't forget the sticks are in the um, school supply section. All right, let me move that. Now, the other thing I think of when I think of fair is award-winning apple pie, an apple pie contest, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I personally don't make homemade pastry. Mm -hmm. So I do the store-bought ones, okay. so don't fault Your me for that. Out. My secret's <laughs> out. Um, this is four large Georgia cooking apples. They have to be cooking apples. I think these are Granny Smith. Okay. Uh, basically, you put enough apples in the pie shell to fill it up, which is what I've done here, peeled and sliced. This is a half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cornstarch. You just sprinkle that over the top. Here, do we need to turn those sausages? Yes, and I will do that for you right You're now. You're falling down on the job, right? Sorry. And put that on top of the pie. Now, this is not a real sweet pie. You could certainly add more sugar if you like to do that. A teaspoon of lemon juice over the top of that. Six tablespoons of butter that have been cut. It's been cut in little pieces. Can you use margarine or is you can use margarine? Okay, you can use margarine. Yeah, you can use margarine. I said that's six tablespoons, so it's going to be really, really juicy when the juice from the apples comes out and gets with the um, cornstarch and the sugar. It's really good. And at this point, you would put the pie crust, the top pie crust, on top of it and do it any way you like to, just to make it look good. Okay. And you bake this at 425 for about 35 minutes. All right. We do have the finished product over here. And this is just a basic, classic apple pie. Um, I honestly prefer the tart apples, like I said before, but you can use any sweet or tart cooking apple, not red delicious. Right. Now, I don't want to put this on the grill. No, I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> and then all this is, is sweet Italian sausage, or you could use hot. Okay. Um, or a combination of both, and you're going to grill them until they're done. They take about 10 minutes. You saute the peppers, red pepper, green pepper, and onion. Put that on your bun with some mozzarella cheese on top. Oh, yes. And they, like I said, who knew this was the number one fair food? Well, and sausage and peppers were, you know, as a family treat, family tradition, you know, growing up in my family, usually on Sunday. Sunday mornings, don't laugh, but Sunday mornings, sausage and peppers after church or something like that. Phenomenal. Of course, uh, here's the finished product of those. And I can tell you with the people in this building, they will be gone quickly. They'll be gone quickly. <laughs> um, the Georgia Grown Building this year at the Georgia National Fair, which is coming mm -hmm. up, also Sunbelt Expo in a couple of weeks. Uh, the People Seasons and Faces exhibit is a third 
larger. Wow, okay. That's good. And then we're having a, we've got a guy that works here that's been working on a film for a one year. Mm -hmm. And it's it deals with uh, George's dairy farmers through the generations and it has other agriculture spotlights. So that's going to be really new. That's yeah. going to be good. And folks, and if you haven't been out to the fairgrounds in a while, yes, the Georgia Grown Building debuted last year at the fair. Phenomenal so building. All nice, kinds of Georgia nice history setup. and everything. So very, very cool. Marsha, thank you so much as always. See you. Again, you can find all these recipes by logging on to gfb.org. Enjoy the fair season, folks, and we might see you out there.